going to go ahead and get to the quad rupt wrist extensors. This is going to go ahead and help you get into that front rack position and mobilize your wrist. Okay, so there's two different ways you're going to do this uh, with the placement of your arms so and your hands. So I'm going to go ahead and get a set up, do the side view and show you, and then I'm going to go ahead and do the front view. So you want to make sure that you're on your hands and knees. Uh, quad rub. So if you notice, my shoulders over my wrists and my knees are over my hips. So over here, you don't want the hips to drop or the, the lumbar spine to drop, sticking our butt out. We want to just be in that neutral position, okay? So you're going to screw your hands in slightly, just like if you're turning a knob outwards. So we're going to screw and lock it in. We don't want to have a bend in that elbow if possible. And all you're going to do is you're going to rock yourself forward as far as you can um, with comfortable with a comfortable position, you're going to feel a big stretch in the wrist. So you're gonna rock forward and rock back. You're gonna go ahead and do this for about 30 seconds. You're gonna hold for about five to 10, 10 seconds at the end. Hold, go a little bit farther every time. We're still screwing the hands outwards. Just like so. And then we're gonna go ahead and for the next part, we're gonna go ahead and position the hands out. So my hands are forward, so I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go ahead and rotate them out slightly. So I would say like, if forward was 90 degrees, you're going to go ahead and do about 45 degrees. So I'm going to go ahead and have them slightly open. I'm still going to screw them in, so screw them in, and then I'm going to rock forward. Still keeping that neutral spine, okay? I'm going to rock forward. I'm going to actually push my palms in the ground. And then this is going to be like a nice light movement, too. You don't want to be super aggressive, okay? So I'm hold. And you'll notice that you'll, you're going to start getting some loosening. So I'm going to go ahead and do the front view now. So I'm going to get quad rubbed. I'm going to do the first one. See how my hands are nice and straight on. And underneath my shoulders, I'm going to screw them in. You see how this is relaxed. You see me screwing. And then I'm going to go ahead and lean forward. I'm really going to focus on not letting those elbows bend, okay? I'm screwing it in. 10 second hold, and then I'm going to back off. Screw my hands in. 10 second hold, and then back off. And then I'm going to go ahead and angle them out to about 45. So this is 90. It's about 45. Okay? And then see how I relax. I'm going to screw my arms with a screw, screw them out, and I'm going to go ahead and lean into it a little bit more, making sure my fingers and my palms are not coming off the ground, backing off. And um, if you're feeling, feeling a pinching in the front of your wrists here, just back off a little bit. That just means you're super tight, so you don't have to go super far. So just easy. So if you're feeling a pinching or anything, we back off about 10-15%, okay?